Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video um, for people who've got a GitHub account and their account and their repositories have got a 404 error on them. So what's happened is, although you can see your profile in all your repositories, when anybody tries to click, click on a link that you've sent them, they get a 404 page not found error. And what's happened here is that your GitHub has been flagged for some sort of suspicious activity. So what happened to me was that um, I got an email saying uh, there's been some suspicious logon activity. So what we've done is we've we randomized your password. Next time you come on, you need to create a new password. Now I did have two-factor authentication already on, so the account should have been pretty secure anyway. Um, but I logged on, changed the password, thought everything was cool, and then I started getting emails from people saying when we're trying to go to your repositories, we're getting a 404 error. So Obviously, at first, I just went to the links and they worked for me, but that was because I was logged in to GitHub. Now, it doesn't matter if they log in to, on their account to GitHub, they still won't be able to see your files. So what you need to do is you need to contact GitHub support. I'll put a link in the description below this video, and you click on Account Appeal and Reinstatement. Now, hopefully, my case has just been a glitch or this is something that they just automatically do when they think an account may have been compromised um, mine hasn't I mean there's been no other activity on anything within the file um, but you know github is massive um, I'm using a free account so it's, they say it's going to take up to seven days so hopefully my repositories will come back online however what you could do instead perhaps and this is what I've done because I want people to be able to uh, access uh, my uh, my files so that they can work on their daisy servers and other things is I've actually opened up an account with mega for free and I have got all of my github repositories I back them up to mega um, now what's cool about mega is that this is incredibly easy and fast to do I guess that's the big thing because what you can do is you can just go into one of your repositories you can click on download zip download that to your local computer and then within your mega file just drag that zip file into your mega drive <laughs> yeah. um, and then within here you can then right click and you can it will say get link and then you can share that link with other people so that they can then download so if I say get manage that so if I get that link and I, I would paste that into my videos if we now go to an incognito window and just paste it in you'll see people get the option to download that zip so it's really fast you it's as quick as literally downloading um, zip files from your github repositories and then just dragging that zipped folder to your mega folder um, and uh, and then you can share the file again so that's what I've decided to do and going forward even if my github repositories get reinstated i'm going to do both i think i'm going to do github repositories and i'm going to do mega so i've got kind of a backup so in probably below every video um i'll have a link to my github and say you know if this doesn't work this is the link to my uh, my mega file download as well just to have that built in backup obviously i've got them all backed up to my local pc as well but it was really the inconvenience that this caused to the people who use my uh repositories because lots of people do for xml modding and json modding and that sort of stuff and also not really understanding what had happened because it wasn't obvious from my account page when i logged in you know when i'm here that my file had been flagged in fact the only time my account had been flagged the only time i was, was really sure was when i went to account appeal and it says your account has been flagged so there we go hopefully this has been useful uh, to people what i will do is i'll update you if and when my github becomes goes back online um and uh, if not i'll just be using mega exclusively um, and if it does i'll be using both so hopefully that's useful what do you think put your questions in the comments down below and of course i'll see you again soon